Hey guys, welcome to Macintosh Weekly, and today in this video, I'm going to show how to fix macOS Sequoia graphics acceleration, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and USB on unsupported Mac. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, and now let's begin. macOS Sequoia was released on the 16th of this month. With the release, many users are keenly looking for a way to install the latest macOS Sequoia on their unsupported Macs. A guide for upgrading and installing macOS Sequoia on an unsupported Mac has already been published on the channel. Links for the videos will be under the video description and i button. Now, if you've installed macOS Sequoia, but unable to get the graphics acceleration, working Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, USB webcam and so on, this video is for you. Now firstly let me show you that the current device has macOS Sequoia installed, but there's no graphics acceleration and no Wi-Fi on this device. Here you can see that the model identifier is Mac Mini 7.1, which is a Mac Mini late 2014 model. Bluetooth on this device is working, but there is no graphics acceleration or Wi-Fi working. Now to fix this, you'll need the OpenCore Patcher Package. If you have access to the internet on your current device, you can download it with the same device. You can use Ethernet, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, a USB router, or a USB to Ethernet adapter. But somehow, if you can't access the internet on your current device, then download OpenCore Patcher from any other device and copy it to any media, and then plug that media into the current unsupported device. Now, open OpenCore Patcher package and continue with the installation. After the installation is done, click on Close and then eject the USB or any media available. And then open OpenCore Patcher from Launchpad. Now in the OpenCore Legacy Patcher window, click on Build and Install OpenCore. After the OpenCore is built for your Mac, you'll be prompted with this option. Click on the Install to Disk option and then from the list of disks, select the drive on which macOS is installed. And after that, Click on the EFI partition and enter the password when prompted. When you get the Reboot to Apply message, click on Reboot and restart your Mac. While rebooting, press and hold Option or Alt key on your keyboard and boot to Startup Manager. Here, select the EFI boot with OpenCore logo and press Enter to boot and continue booting to macOS.
After booting back, you may not see the dock or even the menu bar. Now again, open OpenCore Patcher using the Spotlight Search or from the Applications folder. Now in the OpenCore Legacy Patcher window, click on Post Install Root Patch. And here you can see that the list of available patches for the system only shows modern wireless. Graphics is also not working on this device, but graphics isn't listed here. This is because a few other packages need to be downloaded for a few Mac devices, and for that internet connection is required. If you are connected to the internet, you don't have to worry and can complete the post install in one go. But if you aren't able to connect to the internet, you'll first need to fix the network on the device and then the graphics. Now click on Start Root Patching and wait for it to be done. After you get Reboot to Apply prompt, click on Reboot and restart your Mac, and again boot to Mac OS. After booting back, connect to internet using Wi-Fi or any available method. After getting connected, open OpenCore Patcher again. Now again, click on Post Install Root Patch. And this time, the available patches for my device are modern wireless and graphics as well. Click on Start Root Patching and let the process get done.
After getting the reboot to apply prompt, click on reboot and then restart your Mac and boot to Mac. And now you can see that the graphics acceleration is also working. Now let me show you info about this Mac. And here you can see that macOS Sequoia is installed and everything is working fine as expected on this unsupported Mac mini late 2014 model. So that was it, hope it was useful consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day ahead.